Hey guys, it's so dark out and I would normally never film in such dark, bad lighting, but it's not randomly like, why don't I just do like a, like a midnight talk, you know? Like heart to heart with you guys. Yeah, I don't know, these few months have been kind of crazy for me. Like this time last year, March last year, I was still in Hong Kong, still working in data. I mean, I still do it now. Yeah, life has just been like a, I don't even know how, what to, how to explain it. <laughs> I went from like four years doing interviews that were like written and text and transcribing it or via email. And like no one even really like cared. I don't know, like when was the last time you read an article and like you actually reached out to like the editor to thank them to it, like not, none whatsoever. And to have this like response from you guys has just, has just been like, I don't even know, like a bit overwhelming in like a positive way, if that makes sense. I'm like in the middle of Palm Springs and you'll probably see why I know which vlog I'll put out first, but it's like wandering around. Like what do you do when you're alone in Palm Springs at night and you look up? and you see stars and in Hong Kong we don't see stars it's like so polluted like you'd have to go to the countryside for that really don't see stars in Hong Kong it's just been so exciting like thinking of all these segments and thinking like who fits what like how someone I was like Getter needs to do this and then the essentials like because Chris like Manila Killer wears really cool clothes so I was like gotta get him and he was like not living in LA, so otherwise I'd do like a tour thing with him. And I'm still doing my data analytics job. And I, the headquarters are in Hong Kong. So I have to stay up until like midnight. So it's kind of overwhelming sometimes, like doing all these interviews and also sufficiently like putting in the time for that work. You know, it covers my bills and stuff. It's a lot, like I don't, have that much time for myself. I kind of try and want to make time free for myself on like weekends, but it's hard because like the rate that I want to grow these interviews at in all these sections, and I edit everything, nearly everything. Sometimes it's hard like being away from my family who are like still in Hong Kong, and I don't know that many people in LA. Like I know some people, but I know I just kind of like being alone, and that's been nice I don't know it's also my first time living alone and I never thought in a million years I would live alone I always felt like even now like I'm like alone in Palm Springs and I feel like I have to talk that's how I'm filming with you guys living alone is really nice alone is really nice and I like recommend you guys if you haven't lived alone I just never thought that I'd be able to like live with roommates, I don't know. I was like done after college so I want to play my music, have my own hours, I mean I don't have crazy hours or anything but having silence is just so nice <laughs> and I've been thinking like should I go like solo traveling sometimes? Like go to Seattle or I don't even know, go anywhere alone. Maybe if you guys have done that like comment below and tell me like where you went and what your experience was. Kind of like thinking about that a lot. I don't know if you guys like like this type of content, but I feel like I don't really share that much about my own life and what I'm going through at this point in time, but I think it'd be cool to see snapshots of where I am in the next few months or years so you guys can get like a progression on my life. It's also been exciting getting into like the food blogging thing. It's something that I was doing when I was in Hong Kong and it's just nice to start that over here as well. Like trying out different areas I don't drive so sometimes it's difficult like I literally take the bus like everywhere still and or like Uber depends but <laughs> sometimes getting to interviews take like one to two hours I don't know that's also something that I need to do before like summer learn how to drive <laughs> this is like a bucket list I'm like telling you guys my my pla my inner plans <laughs> it's been walking this strip for like so many times as you can tell because of the light like I'm just even and it's also like far from the cars I've just been kind of mumbling but sometimes I like to hear people mumble because you see their inner thoughts and what's going on in their head I guess that's what thoughts are <laughs> anyway maybe you guys enjoy this maybe you don't hope you just learned a little bit about me and where I am with my life right now and thank you always for your continuous support. You have really no idea 
how much it means to me. And also I want to add, if you've liked anything that I've done, just share it to a friend. It will only take you like a second, it won't cost you anything. That's the only way that my videos get circulated. I wish I was like on some like major publishing thing that could put so much money towards Facebook ads or Instagram ads, but it's not, it's just me.